Welcome to the Statistic ED YouTube channel. Today I want to show you how to visualize time series data in R. We'll plot daily stock prices and since they can be very volatile, we'll add moving averages, something that can be very conveniently done using the great tidyquant package. So we'll start by talking a little bit about this tidyquant package. It was written by Matt Dencho and David Walken, so a big shout out to them. Matt Dencho is the maintainer and I encourage you to check out his website at businessscience.io. He's also written a couple of other great packages um, that make time series analysis much more convenient in R and you will find them at his website under resources software. So the tidyquant package aims at building a bridge between time series specific packages and the tidyverse. So for some time this used to be like different worlds and now you can do time series analysis in a tidyverse style which is very convenient to do. This image is taken from his introductory video and this video is linked to in the introduction to tidyquant vignette and you can find package vignettes by typing help package equals tidyquant and then clicking on the link to the vignettes. So we'll start very simple. We're using a very convenient function from the tidyquant package to download time series data tq underscore get and here we're using Amazon data from 2015 to end of May 2021. So this is the data that we get back. We have the date and then for each day we have the opening and closing um, price, the highest and lowest price, the traded volume and the adjusted price. And today we'll just use the adjusted price. So we start with a very simple plot. It's a very simple ggplot2 line plot. Um, so it's not pretty by any means and we'll quickly build up on that. So it's just a geom line call that we are using here, plotting the date and the adjusted price on the y-axis. So let's fine tune this. Um, I'm switching to the Wall Street Journal theme from the GG Themes package and I also label the y-axis in dollars, which can be conveniently done using the label dollar function from the scales package. And we move the y-axis to the right. So let's see what's happening here. The Amazon stock price rose quite steadily for a couple of years until before 2020, it sort of reached a plateau and had trouble breaking the $2,000 threshold. And then came COVID and the stock price skyrocketed to beyond $3,000. So what I want to do next is zoom in on this data and focus on what happened after January 1st, 2020. So we start out at a level below $2,000 and then we see the rapid rise in the first half of 2020 and then um, the stock price reached another plateau just beyond $3,000. So let's see how we can zoom in. And this can be very conveniently done in ggplot2 using the cohort x date function. And I just provide the x and y limits to zoom in. And now we get a clearer picture of what happened after January 1st, 2020. Starting from below $2,000, then seeing that sharp increase. And then, yeah, sort of leveling off at just over $3,000, but with some volatility, of course. And looking at this volatility, it's very typical for daily stock prices. So what we want to do now is add moving averages to smooth out this daily volatility a little bit. And here comes in the next function from the tidyquant package, geomma. So it's very convenient to use that. We don't have to do any calculations in our data set. We can leave the data set as is, and we can use this gdplot2 style using another geom, but a geom that is not provided by ggplot2, but by the tidyquant package geomma. And the function that we are using is the SMA, which stands for simple moving average. So we're using a 30 day moving average here. And we see that the sharp increase is slightly delayed by this um, time window, um, but we can see the plateau a bit more clearly with less volatility. So that's really what we like to get when we use moving averages. 
So it's a very simple function. And next we want to build up on this and add another moving average with a larger window, a larger time period for the smoothing. And here we're using a 90 day moving average. And you see it's very easy to add this to the plot. We can specify a color and a size. So this function GMMA is very well documented in the tidy quant package. What is a little bit harder to do now is to add a legend that describes what these lines stand for. So we have to use a little trick and this is not documented inside the GMMA function, but you have to find it elsewhere in how to use ggplot2. So here I'm adding the legend and um, we're using a trick. We move the color assignments inside the AES function aesthetics, but we don't provide the colors directly. Instead, we provide labels for the colors. So for the geom line call here at the top, I assign the label daily. And then for the two moving averages, I assign the labels 30 day SMA and 90 day SMA. So even though this is using the color aesthetic, we haven't provided the actual colors yet. And we do that in the scale color manual function here at the bottom. And here I map the labels to the actual colors. And this is very convenient because it gives us the colors and at the same time, the scale color manual function also takes care of adding the legend. So this is the plot that we end up for today. Um, so we saw how to plot time series data and how to add moving averages using a convenience geom function in the ggplot2 tidyverse style, but a function provided by the great tidy quant package. So that's it for today. I hope you liked the video and you find it useful. If so, then give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Um, check out my other videos. All the best for your own data visualizations. See you next time. Ciao.